Hello and welcome to the food import and re-export requirements of UAE. I'm Rajesh Patmanathan, working for the last 21 years in Dubai as food safety consultants and trainer. I have been associated with different government agencies to help the organization to have food safety requirements to be in place. Food import and re-export system, we call it as FIRS. Before any food item can be imported into Dubai, the food item and its label needs to be registered in the food import and re-export system, which is FIRS of Dubai Municipal. Food item and label registration can only be done online by the UAE importing company. The entire procedure can be done online before the shipment arrives. It is highly advisable to complete the registration prior to arrival of the shipment as this provides some time for rectifying any problem. In case there are no problems with labels or documents, the shipment will be released from the port of entry within hours. Different packaging of the same food item, for example, 500 gram or 100 gram package are considered as different food items and should be registered in FIRS separately. Now let's talk about food labeling. The following information is mandatory on the food label. Brand name, the next one is product name. A summarized description of the food product needs to be there. Food ingredients, arranged in a descending order according to the weight or volume. All ingredients should be listed. Production and expiration dates of all products, except those which are exempted from displaying the validity or expiration dates, such as fresh produce. The only accepted format of dates is DD bar MM bar YYYY, which is date, month, and year. For products with a long shelf life, less than three months, MM or YYYY -Y is accepted. Again, when we talk about food labeling requirements, name of the food manufacturer, packer, distributor or importer. Net volume, net weight needs to be there. Country of origin should be declared clearly and should be very specific. Example, EU is not a country of origin. We need to mention like Germany, Italy or France, etc. etc. Products barcode is required, lot number is required. We need to understand that the language of the label should be Arabic. Food labeling again. For more information on the expiration dates of food products, please check the guide Dubai Municipality Food Control Import Requirements Guide. A distinction is made between foodstuff with mandatory specified shelf life, foodstuff with voluntary shelf life, and exempted products. Storage conditions. If the validity of the product depends on such conditions, we need to write storage condition requirements. Mentioning the ingredients which may cause hypersensitivity. Instructions for using the product if it is really required. Nutritional information is optional like catering only and products for special use such as babies and patients etc. Ingredients and laboratory testing. All ingredients, colorings and flavorings should be mentioned on the label. The information should be product specific. Example, you say vinegar, oil, coloring, flavoring, these are all unacceptable descriptions. We need to mention like rice vinegar, canola oil E127 or erythrosin E1505 or triethyl citrate are accepted. Food items that are newly registered and imported into Dubai will undergo laboratory testing at Dubai Municipality. In case of any ingredient or additives are not mentioned on the label, it will be not accepted for import. There are certain banned additives also. The following are the additives which are banned in UAE, starting with E104, quinoline yellow, we call it as yellow number one. E105, fast yellow AB. E107, yellow G2. Generally, we call this as food yellow 5. E123, amaranth, that is C.1, 161, 85. FD and C red 2. E124 4R red 2 CL dot 16255. E127 erythrosin FD and C red 3 C point 
वन पॉइंट फोर फाइव फोर थ्री जीरो ई वन थ्री वन पेटन ब्लू बी विच इज सी पॉइंट वन पॉइंट फोर टू जीरो फाइव वन अगेन देर आर सम मोर बैंड एडिटिव लाइक ई वन फोर टू ग्रीन एस एसिड ब्रिलियन ग्रीन फूड ग्रीन एस लिसम एन ग्रीन सी पॉइंट फोर फोर जीरो नाइन जीरो ई नाइन टू फोर विच इज पोटासियम ब्रोमेट normally we used in bread products e952 cyclamate e1510 ethanol which is similar to alcohol four products are not permitted and requires different procedures adding alcohol is not allowed in any food products however if the alcohol occurs naturally in some of the products such as juices it is subjected to the limits as indicated in the respective ua standards the permitted amount of naturally occurring alcohols in juices and sauces like soy sauce rice vinegar sweet vinegar is approximately 0.5 percentage there are some ingredients which are banned also like poppy seeds are banned cut leaves are banned betel leaves or betel nuts are banned niswar a kind of tobacco products gutka It's a preparation where a crushed areca nut, tobacco, cashew, paraffin wax, slaked lime, and sweet or savory flavorings are added. Also, is banned. If any product contains pork or pork-based products, it should be clearly declared on the label, not in the ingredients. Now, let us talk about some required documents. Documents needed for clearance by the Dubai municipality. Food control at the port of entry is yes. the first one. This bill of entry we can call it as airway bill. Delivery order in case of containers. An original health certificate approved by the government health authority at the country of origin. A copy of health certificate will not be accepted and shall result in detaining the consignment at the port of entry. Consignment packing list. An original halal certificate issued by Islamic organization which is approved by UAE authorities especially for meat and poultry products failure to deliver an original halal certificate shall result in detaining or re-exporting of the consignment after that any other certificates which might be required in case of any international epidemics or any certificates required based on local decisions such as GMO free certificates avian flu certificates dioxin free certificates etc etc now let us talk about some main reasons for rejection of consignments starting with any banned ingredients such as poppy seeds and alcohol may result in rejection difficult to read information on the label that also can be the same thing health certificate which is not original easily removable sticker the sticker has to be firm and if it is easily removable it may cause rejection duplicated barcodes on the fir system food supplements medications vitamins do not fall under this regulation but they need special approval by additional or other activities not all ingredients have been declared ingredients are mentioned in the foreign language other than arabic non conformity with shape law there are some religious signs or inappropriate pictures this also include mention of alcohol drinks marketing of the food as alcohol uh, glass beer wine all these can cause rejection of consumers i hope the presentation was useful for you thank you so much for more informations on regulations procedures and action taken in case of contraventions can also be found on the website of dubai municipality www dm.gov.ae business food safety department